we are already done with epithelial tissue, connective tissue, thick skin versus thin skin. Now, let's look at the histological slides of skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle. I'm going to get directly into the tricks that you need to know to identify each of them. So, we are going to look at the longitudinal section of skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle. And we are going to look at the transverse section of skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle. First, let's look at the transverse sections. The transverse section of skeletal muscle. Under a microscope, you will be able to see skeletal muscle fibers that are arranged in bundles. This bundle is what we call fasciculus. There are multiple fasciculus. And in between these fasciculus, there is well demarcation due to the presence of fibrous connective tissue called perimysium. So skeletal muscle fibers arranged in bundles and these bundles are well separated from one another due to the presence of perimysium. In cardiac muscle transfer section also you will be able to see cardiac muscle fibers. However, these cardiac muscle fibers are not arranged in fascicles and there is no gap like perimysium in between them. In skeletal muscle, you had skeletal muscle fibers arranged in bundle, skeletal muscle fibers arranged in bundle, and between these bundles, there was perimysium. In cardiac muscle, there's no such bundular arrangement with perimysium in between them. Now, longitudinal section. In skeletal muscle, in longitudinal section, you will be able to see these cylindrical, unbranched, multinucleated skeletal muscle fibers where the nuclei are present at the periphery. They are unbranched and the nuclei are present at the periphery. In cardiac muscle, you will also be able to see cylindrical muscle fibers. However, the important feature here is that they show branching. So under a microscopy, you need to observe for these branchings. Smooth muscle individually, they are spindle shaped in longitudinal section with elongated nucleus. However, overall, they appear very messy. Let's look at the slides now. So, here you can see muscle fibers that are arranged in a bundle called fascicle and each fascicle, they are well separated from one another with the help of perimysium. So, this is skeletal muscle. Uh, by the way, this is the skeletal muscle, but which section? The transverse section. Okay. Here you can see these Skelet, uh, these fibers, muscle fibers that are unbranched, multinucleated and the nucleus are present at the periphery. So this is obviously the longitudinal section of skeletal muscle. Here you can see that individually the muscle fibers are spindle shaped with elongated nucleus. Overall, the arrangement is very messy. So this is smooth muscle. So smooth muscle is very easy to demarcate or separate from the rest of the histological slides of the muscles. Then there's again spindle shaped cells with elongated nucleus. Overall, they appear very messy, smooth muscle. In this particular slide, you can see skelet, sorry, muscle fibers. These muscle fibers, however, they are not arranged in bundles and there is no perimysium or gap between the bundles. There's no bundles in the first place. So this right here is the transverse section of cardiac muscle. Here you can see these muscle fibers, cylindrical muscle fibers, and in between these cylindrical muscle fibers, there's presence of branching. There's presence of branching. There's presence of branching. There's presence of branching. So this is obviously longitudinal section of cardiac muscle.